Okay. OTT of the day. Um, suede straight boots, nice and flat from DSW. My leggings, New York and Company, and a uh, cobalt blue turtleneck, New York and Company last year. That's the outfit of the day. I am ready to go home. So the husband ran in to get rotisserie chicken. And we're going to fix some squash and zucchini and red peppers for dinner. He's cooking. And that's always a good thing because the man can't cook. Hey, come on. What's going on? Every time I put up a video, you're here and you're watching, but you're not subscribing. Come on. Go ahead, I'll wait, subscribe, and hit the notification bell because you're here anyway. Don't be like that. Come on, subscribe. Let's get her done. Hey, beauties. Look, we went out for a little bit. We didn't do much of anything. Nothing you guys would even want to see. I just want to sit here for a few minutes and talk to you about freedom and look when i uploaded my video before right before i uploaded it i inserted the little piece of me trying on the leggings and the t-shirt that's so very up close and personal to me that it's easy to sit here fully you know clothed and you you're looking at me from the breast up and and all of that and sometimes i'm not okay with that but I am on a journey, really, to set myself free from the things that have held me back. As women and men, we all have things that we don't like about our bodies. And for me, my stomach, when it comes to my body, I am the apple shape, so they call it. Um, I carry my weight in my, my belly area and I have to embrace it because I know that unless I get a tummy tuck, it's not going anywhere. And last night I decided to embrace it. It's a journey getting there, but you have to be happy with yourself. I see women that are large, small, of all shapes and sizes, and what I choose to do is find the thing that makes them stand out. The the beauty, you know, that they have and everybody has something. It's not focus on what we feel is a flaw, you know. Just, who doesn't have flaws? I'm not friends with any perfect people. I don't know any perfect people. I don't know anybody with a perfect body or a perfect face with a perfect life, I don't know anybody. What we have going on on the inside is far more important than what we have going on on the outside. It doesn't matter. I refuse to spend the, the rest of my life focusing on what I don't like about myself. Live your best life and your best life is being as healthy as possible, being happy as possible with yourself, living your best life eating so that you can feel good, be here for as long as possible. That's what living my best life at, at this point in my life, that's what it means to me. Make the necessary changes because the day will come, you know. We have to take care of this body. We only get one. And like I say, that's the true meaning of living your best life. So... Let's live our best lives and be happy with who we are and accept ourselves and love ourselves just the way we are. I had to get a grip, like really get a grip, you know, not want to be around people out of the fear of being judged that I wasn't, I didn't have the perfect body or I wasn't the right size. And 
my husband told me one day, he said, don't you know what people think about you is none of your business? And it hit me like a ton of bricks. It's none of my business. That's that's on them what they think about me. I just had to bring y'all my raw emotions right now. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I have enjoyed conversing with you ladies. Let's keep it going. Tell people about me. Share my videos. Let's make it happen. Until next time.